All right, y'all, what's going on? It's your man, Pristine, back with another video, back with another unboxing. And here we go with the genius behind the deceit. Episode three. What I have before you here, ladies and gentlemen, is the Lenovo Z6 Pro. Now, I don't know how, but this phone slipped by me in 2019 when it came out and I saw it the other day and I was like, Lord have mercy, I gotta get on it. And it just got delivered. So here we go. Now, if you follow my channel, you saw reviews for the Lenovo Z5, the Lenovo Z5 Pro, and here we go with the L Lenovo Z6 Pro. I heard things about it last year in 2019, but I didn't quite see anything about it. And there were so many things going on at the time in the mobile phone world, I just completely forgot about it. You know what I mean? And so, um, hey, you know, there's, <laughs> there's so many. <laughs> I'm up on most of this stuff, but there are times where, man, phones can slip by me. You know what I mean? So uh, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let me go ahead and read off the SpizX and then we'll go ahead and crack this box and, you know, take a look at the hardware and poke around with the software a little bit and then we'll close this thing on out. All right. All right. Now, <clears throat> first off real quick, as you can see, the little sign right here in big red letters, carrier compatibility does not work with Verizon and Sprint. So there's your indication that this phone is GSM unlocked only, which means that you can use it with T-Mobile, AT&T, uh, uh, Metro PCS, Cricket Wireless, you know, any other GSM provider. All right. Now, the price. This is going to, well, I don't want to, uh, it shouldn't shock you people, you know what I mean, at all, because we're living in a day and age where for top tier specs, you know, prices are starting to come down a whole lot. You know what I mean? So it's like if you want... You know what I'm saying? I mean, a, a good quality smartphone that's going to offer you all the power and all the all the bells and whistles and things. We're living in a day and age now here in 2020 where you don't have to pay a thousand bucks for those things. So the Lenovo Z6 Pro here cost $359.99 on Amazon. And so the link will be down below in the description. You know, after you check out this video and, you know, I'll learn you about this device a little bit if you're intrigued and you're interested in copying one, then the link will be in the, uh, in the description. You click on the link, it'll take you right to Amazon, uh, to the device, and you can go ahead and order it right there on the spot if that's what your little heart desires. All right, now, we've got a 6.39 inch Super AMOLED 1080 by 2340 pixel display. We've got a PPI pixel density of 403. This is, eight, this is an HDR10 plus display at 19.5 by nine aspect ratio. And this phone is 185 grams, which equals to about 6.53 ounces. All right, now we have a Snapdragon 855 processor. We've got 128 gigs of onboard storage that can be expanded up to a terabyte. We've got six gigs of RAM. We've got an octa-core CPU. We've got an Adreno 640, and we are running Android 9 Pi, and that's running on ZUI 11.1. And I'm not exactly sure if this phone is going to get the Android 10 update, I don't see why it wouldn't. But I mean, I haven't seen any reports on it or anything indicating that it will. Um, but that doesn't mean that it won't. So we'll just have to stay tuned to see what's popping with that. All right. Now, on the rear of this device with the cameras, we've got a quad camera system. We've got a 48 megapixel wide angle sensor. We've got an 8 megapixel telephoto lens. We've got a 16 megapixel ultra wide sensor. And we've got a dedicated, a two megapixel dedicated video camera. Now on the front of this device, on the front of this device here, we have a 32 megapixel selfie camera. All right. And the camera got really, really, really good DxO Mark scores. Like DxO Mark gave this camera a 97 in the camera department. So that ought to let you know that this camera is no joke. You know what I mean? And I can't wait to get it out the box and start taking some test shots. For sure, there's going to be a dedicated camera video to show off this camera in all of its glory. All right. Now, we do have, uh, as far as features, we've got a dual tone LED flash, panorama, HDR. We do have 4K recording at 30 frames per second. Um, and with the and that's with the rear camera. So with the selfie camera at 32 megapixels, we don't have the ability to record in 4K with that camera. We can only record at 1080p at 30 or 60 frames per second. All right, and that's 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 totally fine with me. All right, now the battery. We've got a 4,000 milliamp hour non-removable battery. 
All right, we've got a Type-C connector. We've got an 18 watt wall adapter that comes in the box. This phone does support fast charging. All right, now additional features. We've got Bluetooth 5.0. We've got an FM radio. We've got an under the display fingerprint sensor. Again, HDR10 display. We have dual SIM capabilities. We've got a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Yes, Lenovo is being mindful of all you individuals that still like to plug in. You know what I mean? They threw a headphone jack in there for you guys so you guys can go ahead and and and, and do your thing with your wired headphones. And uh, we have Dolby Atmos sound. And so that's dope because we have the ability to, you know, up our audio game. Okay, Dolby Atmos is dope. If you don't know what Dolby Atmos is, Dolby Atmos is a feature that will allow you to uh, uh, customize the sound when you're listening to audio or listen, watching movies, whatever. You can customize the sound to your liking. It, it offers different presets. You know what I mean? So if you can choose one of those presets, then you're good to go with that. It also offers a full on equalizer for you to go ahead and customize the sound to your own liking and you could set it, you know what I'm saying? I mean, under your own you know, your own name. So whenever you want to listen to audio, if you don't, if you're not feeling any of the presets, then you can just click on, you know what I'm saying? The one that you've adjusted yourself and there you go. You know what I'm saying? I mean, so, you know, there's definitely some advantages with having Dolby Atmos on board. Now, let's take a look at the box here. As you can see in those bold red letters, it says Lenovo Z6 Pro. All right, Lenovo here, and this is, you know, the packaging, it's like a gray, it's like a dark gray, kind of, it's, it's, it's dope, it looks, it looks pretty dope, all right, so nice packaging, you can see the little red accents there on the bottom and on the top of the box here, and so, yeah, let's, uh, let's go ahead and get this joint cracked out the box here, uh, ah, this knife is dull, Wow, really? Okay, let's do Here we go. There we go. All right, here we go. Toss that plastic aside. Oh, look at that. It has the six. I couldn't see that because of the plastic. I don't know if you guys can see that but there's like a very faintly engraved six on the top of the box there. All right, that's pretty dope. I like that. All right, how do we get this joint out of here? Slide out this way. Is this a sleeve that it's in? There we go. Uh, yeah, I like that black and red combo, man. You know what I'm saying? That's my favorite color combination. Ooh, look at that. Okay, so we got a little sleeve here to go ahead and pull it out. Uh-oh. Ooh, Lenovo. Lenovo. Doing it, in, doing, doing it real classy. You know what I'm saying? All right, here we go. Uh, what we got here? Okay, here's our sim ejection tool. All right, here's our typical books. Okay. Yeah, all right. Typical books and things. We'll go ahead and file that to the side. And we've got a nice, ooh, I like this kind of like this, like a smoke. It's a clear colored smoke rubber TPU case. Comes in the box. Screen protector in the box. That's what I'm talking about. Ah, here's our device right here. Ooh, 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 ooh-wee, look at that, look at that red and black accent, oh my god, lord have mercy, what a thing of beauty, uh, 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 go ahead and peel that off, wow, look at that ladies and gentlemen, and you just see just how it just shimmers in the, uh, in the light, wow, Got the red power button right there. Ooh. Go ahead and power it up. And while it's booting up, we'll go through the rest of the inbox contents. Lenovo right there, man. All right, so what else we got here? 
Okay, I'm pretty sure that this is our wall adapter right here. 18 watt. Oh, so actually, this is our Type-C port for charging. As you can see that right there. Okay. What else we got in here? I don't have, okay, what is this? Oh, okay, so we've got a... Uh, A USB-A to USB-C. If you are looking to transfer your data from your old device to your new Lenovo device here. So that's dope that they put that in there. All right. Okay, so I'm sure that this is our wall adapter right here. And I was right about that again. So yeah, this is an 18 watt wall adapter. It says Lenovo right there on, uh, on the adapter. 18 watts fast charging we in there all right boom let's see okay here we go here we go so here is the device ladies and gents and let me zoom in a little bit here get a little bit more intimate with this device yeah all right I'm, I'm 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 pumped about this joint all right so 6.39 inches corner to corner as you can see we've got the water drop notch at the top you know i'm kind of over that look you know what i mean but this phone did come out like mid 2019 and so um you know it's not a problem it doesn't really bother me um but man this feels really good in the hand um and just that color oh my goodness that is such a thing of beauty all right, but you can see there we've got um, the, that's our 32 megapixel selfie camera right there at the top. And then on top of that is our little speaker for the ear receiver. You guys can see that right there. Now, unfortunately, this phone does not have dual stereo speakers, but the bottom firing speaker is very, very, very loud and nice sounding. And I've watched a few reviews on this and people rave about how the sound quality is on this device, especially considering that it's only one speaker. So. Um, that is a plus. Now we've got a little bit of a chin down here at the bottom with nothing there. Now to the right of the device, we've got our volume rocker and our power button. And I love the fact that the power button is accented red. Um, hold up y'all. So my battery, my camera's about to die. Let me plug it in real quick. I'll be right back. All right, y'all, pardon the interruption. Okay, so what I was saying was I like the fact that you've got the red power button right there and that also acts as the sleep button and if you, if you can notice you can see how like there's a little indentation where the buttons lie so that they're not they're not extremely protruding through the side of the device if you can see that you know what i'm saying i mean so they did that to kind of make the buttons feel more flush and more smooth just with you know what i'm saying i mean just the the overall feel of the device on the side i like i like how they did that all right now at the top we've got a little antenna line right there there is um, there's two little dots right there. And so that looks like a noise canceling mic and kid. Is that an IR blaster? Man, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to figure out what that second hole is right there. I know one of those is a noise canceling mic, but I believe that other one is an IR blaster. All right. Now here's our 3.5 millimeter headphone jack at the top of the device. And to the left, we've got, um, we've got nothing. Wow, I thought that the SIM tray was going to be on the left. And it appears as though the SIM tray is on the bottom of the device right here. And so here's our bottom firing speaker. Here's our Type-C port for charging. And then here is our SIM tray. Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Time out, time out. Okay, so I had to get a little bit closer to the light so I can see. Okay, so it turns out the SIM tray is right here on the bottom left of the device. Okay, so on the bottom here, we've got an antenna line, a noise canceling mic, here's our Type-C port for charging, and then our bottom firing speaker. So this, ladies and gentlemen, at the top is indeed an IR blaster. Now, if we move to the back of the device and all of that beauty, you can see in that red line right there, there's the Lenovo branding. God, that looks so dope. And then here are our camera systems. There's our dual tone LED flash. And um, and that's and that's what it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the device set up and get to the desktop so that we can poke around a little bit with the software, 
take a peek at the camera, go over some of the features and functions, and then we'll close the video out. All right? All right. So stay tuned. All right, y'all, welcome to the desktop for the Lenovo Z6 Pro. Now, after setting this phone up and playing with it for about a good 15, 20 minutes, this phone is definitely a really nice phone. Now, I like the fact that Lenovo, they, they decided to go, they, 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 they decided to trim the fat a little bit, you know, because I know the Z5 and the Z5 Pro, it had a lot of like Lenovo type bloatware and they kind of scaled it back a little bit. There is some bloatware on this device, but no need to fear. I mean, it can be deleted. Um... And it just seems to be more of a straightforward stock Android experience, seemingly. Um, so, you know, that seems to be the approach that Lenovo has taken. And um, I think that uh, I think that you guys will definitely enjoy it. Now, again, the wallpaper, I love the color scheme right there, that red and blue, uh, red being my favorite color. Just, you know, red, you know, just paired with a lot of different things I like. But my favorite color combination is red and black. And so just you know this phone just having that red and black shimmer to it i mean to me it's just that i mean this phone's a head turner in my opinion all right now what we have here is of course we've got android 9 pi and it, it appears as though we're on security patch from april of 2019 and so we definitely need to get some updates considering the fact that we're in february of, or i'm sorry january of uh of 2020 um, but like I said, I mean, you know, this phone, it's been out for a little while and it slipped through the cracks. It got by me, but I still think that this is a, still a very compelling buy right now, especially for the price. I mean, it's got all the 2019 specifications. These are specifications that you're going to easily pay a thousand dollars for in 2019. Some of these phones still to this day with the same specs as this phone still cost a thousand dollars, if not more. And I wanted to, uh, uh, throw in a bit of a correction. So, um, this phone, it was, it was advertised on Amazon to have six gigs of RAM, and I know that there's different RAM variants. But when I went into the settings, um, and I'll just display that here. When I go into the settings, and I scroll down to about device, you can see that it's got the device name, Lenovo Z6 Pro, the model, the CPU, Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 Octa-Core 2.84 gigahertz processor, internal memory we've got available 113 out of 128 and so the app the pre-installed applications is taken up a little bit but fresh out of the box you get 113 gigabytes which is still a lot okay now for the ram here it says eight gigs of ram and so it said on amazon that the six gig of ram version was 359.99 which is what i paid plus the taxes and that the eight gig of ram variant was 379.99 plus taxes and so I was under the impression that I got the 6 gig RAM uh, variant, but in fact, I've got the 8 gig of RAM variant. And so, hey, woohoo. I mean, I've got two additional gigs of RAM. I'm not complaining. Um, but again, as you can see there, Android version is 9. And then you see Android security patch level April 1st of 2019. And so I'm hoping that once I, you know, uh, pop my SIM card in this bad boy, that we will get some updates for this phone. Um, but as of now, ladies and gents, that is what the business is. And so again, in typical Android 9 fashion, you swipe down from the top. This is going to get you to your quick toggles. And as you can see, we've got a lot of toggles here. I mean, this is just the first little page here. And then you can swipe over and you've got a lot of other stuff too. And then of course, um, if you, let's see. I know that there's a way that you can get in and you can customize these things um, so that you can kind of set them to your liking. And there's a whole list of, of other toggles that you can choose to have, you know, on your quick toggles list as well. If you don't see certain things here that are already placed. Um, now, if we swipe up from the bottom, this is going to take us to our app drawer. And another thing that I feel to be a little bit disappointing, it's not a determining factor, but under the settings, under the display settings, I did not see a dark theme. And so I'm hoping that when this phone starts to get some updates, that a dark theme will be enabled because that is, that is just a thing now. And it's like every phone has to have the ability to be put in dark mode. You know what I mean? But if it is on this device, I have not been able to find it. And I've already kind of scrutinized the settings. That's like one of the main things that I look for because I want to change that up from 
the, uh, the, 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 the bright light to the darkness. You know, I want to cross over to the dark side, if you will. Now, um, again, if we just take a look here at some of these applications, like um, we've got, what is this? App delay or app daily to access photos, media, and files on your device. I'm not sure what that is. So we'll just go ahead and get out of that. And then we've got um, app next weather widget. Okay, so this is their weather widget. Um, and then we've got some games that are on here. We've got, um, what is this? Permission required for, what is this? Asphalt, asphalt nitro. All right. And this was already preloaded on the device. And gaming on this phone should definitely be a breeze just because, again, you, you've got the latest specifications, you know, um, you know, that powerful Snapdragon 855 processor. I mean, this phone is, is packing some heat. All right. Um, but I mean, just going over a little bit of the bloatware that was on here. Um, what is this? Okay, that's our contact list. Um, we got Google Drive, Files, there's our FM radio. Um, we've got Opera, you know, which is another... Um, I, I normally see Opera on like a lot of blue phones. It's a web browser. Um, we've got... What game is this? Got another little game here. Okay, another game by Gameloft. Puzzle Pets. Okay, Puzzle Pets popping fun. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So that comes preloaded on the device. But ladies and gentlemen, aside from that, uh, we, we do have a screen recorder here. Oh, okay, we've got a Spider-Man game. Also by Gameloft. Marvel, okay. Okay. All right, now I'm not looking to play no games. Oh, there's Venom right there, man. I might have to get on this, man. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah, so we'll go ahead and get out of that. But, um, you know, there's a, there's, a few, there's, there's a few games that have been already pre-installed on here. And then you've got a sync app. Um, here's your system update app. And then, of course, YouTube, which is under Google. I mean, so you've got a few things on here that come preloaded on the device besides, you know, Google applications. Each and every one of those games that I just displayed can all be deleted. I'm definitely going to delete them just because I'm not a mobile gamer. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm a PS4 Pro guy looking forward to... You know, some of these new games coming out this year, that Resident Evil 3 Nemesis, looking forward to that, looking forward to The Last of Us 3. You know, those are the kind of games that I like to play. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, um, and then later on this year, of course, you know, the new Xbox, the PS5, you know, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm on that. I'm on that real tough. So, um, you know, mobile gaming, not really my thing. So those games are getting deleted now. Again, we do have the ability to, when you download applications from the Play Store, you can have them just pop up on your screen or you can just have them in the app drawer, whatever you want to do. Um, and then if you swipe hard to the right, this takes you to your Google Now feed. And as I've mentioned in tons of other videos of mine, I'm a huge fan of that because this is how I learn about a lot of information about phones. I stay up on scores, what's going on with my team, different news, players and things that I follow. I get bits and pieces of information, you know. And so this is just a really nice thing to have. Now, when we pop into the settings, I notice that the settings menu doesn't really seem to be as... Um, it's not a really, really long list of settings like there are on other Android devices. I mean, I understand, you know, with Android 9, I mean, they started to consolidate a lot of those things. So just to alleviate there being like this long list, they started hiding different features and functions in other categories. Um, and so, you know, it appears that we have a, a kind of similar, you know, settings list type of deal here. You know, we've got WLAN, which obviously, you know, that's, your Wi-Fi connections. We've got mobile network. Now, the only thing with this phone too that some people may kind of gripe about is the fact that there is no NFC on this device. I mean, I never use NFC, so that's not really a big deal to me. But I mean, for those of you that like to tap and pay or be able to tap your device on another device to transfer information through, through, um, through the NFC technology, you do not have that ability here on this device. Okay, so just something to be aware of 
if you're looking to get this device. But I mean, Bluetooth, hotspot, and tethering. Um, we've got passcode and fingerprint sensor and facial recognition. Yes, we do have fa uh, facial recognition on this device. I've yet to have set that up. Um, now here we've got U-Touch. And what that is, is as you can see at the bottom here, we've got the navigation keys. And you can change the orientation of those navigation keys. Um, even though I'm a lefty, I wield all my hand, all my phones on my right hand. And so I love to have the back button right here by my right thumb. But by default, out of the box, it comes the other way around so that the back, home, and recents are in that particular orientation. But you can just hit that little button right there and you can make it back, home, and recents the other way around for all you right-handed individuals. Now, um, you can hit U-Touch. And what U-Touch does is it takes away the um, the capacitive touch keys and it just gives you full screen and you just navigate and operate your phone through gestures. And so if you already know what the business is, you can go ahead and skip that. But if you want to learn the gestures, then you just click on learn and it will tell you here, you know, what to do to navigate your phone. Okay, so to go back, you just swipe from the bottom of the screen to go home. You swipe up from the bottom of the screen and hold. And for your recents, you swipe from the left or right edge on the bottom. Okay, so that's how you do that. Um, for the sake of the video, I'm just going to keep on the navigation keys and, you know, I'll poke around a little bit with the, um, I mean, of course, I'm going to use the touch gestures just because that's what I'm used to. All these devices, you know, I always get rid of the capacitive keys. Um, but uh, for the full review, you know, you'll see, you know, how that looks and how that, and you know, how we're able to navigate the device. N nothing really different from a lot of the other devices that you've seen that use gestured navigation. You know what I mean? So it's just, you know, it looks a little bit different, but, you know, same thing pretty much. All right. Now, we'll go ahead and get out of that. And we'll go into wallpaper. Now, wallpaper, you've got static wallpaper. And you click on that, and you've got some really, really beautiful wallpapers that you can choose from. And again, mind you, people, this is an AMOLED display, a super AMOLED display. So, you know, your colors and everything are going to pop. Okay, you're going to get those real deep blacks, cocaine white whites. You know what I'm saying? I mean, really, really, you know, you know, reds are going to be really red, green, yellow. All those those colors are really going to be, they're going to pop. They're really going to be very nice and vibrant. All right, and I like that. And so these are just a list of the different um, wallpapers that you can choose from if you want to choose those. And then we've got dynamic wallpaper as well. And these kind of, these are very reminiscent to uh, 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 wallpapers that I've seen on like OnePlus devices, especially this one right here. Um, I've, I swear I've seen that on, I think it was on like the OnePlus 6T or something like that. Um, but, you know, whatever. It is what it is. And then this wallpaper right here, I'm extremely familiar with. This is the wallpaper that was on the Lenovo Z5 um, Pro. And so very, very familiar with that wallpaper. But um, yeah, you know, you've got a few different things to choose from if you want to change up the look of your device. And then, of course, you can choose wallpapers from your album, you know, from your pictures. Um, so if you've taken some pictures and you want to use those as your wallpaper, then that's how you go ahead and set that up to be your wallpaper. And I believe you can do that under the Photos app as well. All right. Now, um, oh, let's see. So notifications and status bar. So this, we've got notification management, um, screen notification allow notification dots, notification sound, battery percentage, and show network real-time speed. Now, I'm a fan of the fact that we have battery percentage, but the only thing that I don't like about this particular implementation of battery percentage is, as you can see, the battery percentage is inside of the battery box, which means that it is very, very, very small, very hard to see. And if you have troubled sight like I do, even with my prescription glasses on, that's going to be hard for you to navigate the exact amount of battery life that you have. And you're going to have to scroll down into your settings and click on battery to actually see what your battery percentage is. You know what I mean? I would prefer uh, uh, an implementation more so like what we see on the Google Pixel 4 here where you see that 64%. It's just as clear as day. You know what I mean? And so that's what I'm talking about as far as being able to visualize my battery percentage without having to go into the settings and click on battery, right? Um, but nonetheless, you know, I will definitely take that implementation over just having no battery percentage shown at all whatsoever because trying to look at that battery bar and trying to gauge what your percentage is without actually seeing the percentage but just seeing the little battery bar, it's kind of hard to determine how much battery life you have. So I'm not going to complain too much. I just wish that that, that number was a little bit bigger, a little bit more visible, all right? Um, but it is there, 
Okay, so um, again, that is notification and status bar. And now if we go into display settings, we've got the screen brightness, which that looks like it's about like 35, 40%. I don't know the exact amount of nits that this phone tops out at, but it gets extremely bright. So you should not have any trouble or problems at all viewing this phone in the various different types of lighting conditions that you may find yourself in. Looking at this display should not be an issue. All right. Now we've got adaptive brightness. We've got always on display. We've got a night light. Now, if we click on color, this is where you can change your color temperature. Okay. So we've got color and we've got saturation. So color is warm, standard, and cool. I'm just for the sake of the video. Well, cool. I, I like to kind of keep it cool because I, I'm more of a fan of that bluish tint. And you can kind of see the difference, how it lights up a little bit, you know, when you put it on standard. And then for the saturation, it's on vibrant or standard. All right. And so if we hit standard, you see how the colors, if you're looking at the balloon there, they change a little bit. So when you hit vibrant, those colors, they pop just a little bit more. And I'm a big fan of that. So I'm going to just keep those default settings where they are because they're set exactly how I would set that. All right. But you do have the ability to kind of change that just to kind of, you know, customize, you know what I'm saying? I mean, your color and the color saturation more so to what you like to do. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You got to customize the phone, get into your own groove. You know what I'm talking about? So yeah, that's what it is. All right. So now we have sleep. I mean, I've got it on never right now so that the phone won't continue to uh, continuously go to sleep while I'm recording. But of course, that stays on 30 seconds. That just means that your phone is going to go to sleep after 30 seconds of inactivity or no activity at all whatsoever. All right, we've got auto rotate display, font size, and more display settings and double tap to power on the screen. Of course, I'm a big fan of that, so I have that turned on and prevent pocket dials. I've got that turned on as well. So if the phone is fumbling around in your pocket, you're not going to accidentally call someone that you don't want to call. And then they're on the phone listening to all this noise from the phone shuffling around in your pocket, wondering when the hell is going on. All right. So you want to enable that as well to prevent that from happening. OK, now we'll go ahead and get out of uh, display and brightness, sound and vibrations. Now, just like what we find on Samsung devices, I love the fact that we have the ability to have the the phone, the ringer volume and the notification volume completely separate. OK, because sometimes my notifications are very loud or they're too low and I like to turn that up, but I don't necessarily want to turn up the sound of the notifications because then it gets too loud. And so on a lot of Android devices, you know, the only way that you can toggle the ring, the ringtone volume and the notification volume is you have to do it all at the same time. So if you're toggling your ringtone volume, you're also toggling your notification volume. I don't like that. Sometimes I may want to have my, my ringtone volume low because of the quality of the ringtone that I have, which is always the Halloween Michael Myers theme. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Halloween. You know what I mean? That's my favorite joint. You know what I mean? And so all my phones on all my, on every device that I have, the Halloween theme song is my ringtone. And it don't matter that it ain't Halloween. You know what I'm saying? I love that song. All right. Now. You know, sometimes I just want to have and it's loud. I mean, so I want to have that turned down to about the middle, but then say whatever my notification tone is, it may be a little bit more monotone and a little bit harder to hear at lower volumes. I should have the ability to turn that volume up and not affect my ringtone volume. And so I like the fact that that is separate here. OK, then we've got do not disturb phone ringtone notification sound and other sounds and vibrations. You've got dial pad tones, screen locking sounds, charging sounds touch sounds and touch vibration. All right. And you can turn those things on or off based on how you like to use your device. And if you like to have a haptic motor basically responding to every touch or pretty much everything that you do with your device, the haptic engine on this phone, it's decent. You know what I mean? It's nowhere near what you're going to find on the pixel four here or on the iPhone 11 here or even the Galaxy Fold here. You know, the haptic engines on these three phones are amazing. They feel amazing in the hand, especially this Google Pixel 4. 
You know what I mean? This Google Pixel 4, the haptic engine on this joint is, is, is stupid. It's nuts. And it feels really, really, really good in the hands. Really good in the hands. The iPhone is similar. But I mean, I think that, it's, that, that that haptic engine and the haptic feedback on the Pixel 4 is, is, is unmatched. But I think the closest thing that you're going to get to that is probably that iPhone 11. Because it, it too has a really good haptic engine. Like I said, this one is decent. It's doable. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, it's not as crisp as it is on the Pixel 4 or the iPhone 11 or the, uh, the Galaxy Fold there. Alright? Now, we'll go ahead and get out of that. Then we've got application management. You click on that, and this is just give you some information on how you can manage your app, app info, screen time, default apps, app permissions, emergency alerts, special app access, that type of thing. Okay, and then here's battery. So this is what I was saying. If you want to, you know, if the battery indication number at the top right is too small, then you're going to have to go in here to your battery settings to look at the percentage right there, which is highlighted in green. And you can see right now we're at 48%. Okay, and then this is where you have all your battery optimizations as well. You've got battery saver, battery percentage, and then this is a graph. Things you can, you know, applications that you can choose, you know, which apps and things you want to run in the background, which apps you want killed in the background or whatever, so they're not draining your battery, all that kind of thing. Okay, this is where you're going to tackle all that stuff at under the battery setting. Okay, now we've got general settings. Boom. Language and input. Date and time. Account and syncs. Security and location, airplane mode, VPN, screen recorder, storage, uh, storage accessibility, network settings reset, and factory data reset. All right, now if we go into screen recorder, this gives you the ability to record your screen, and you can check, you can um, uh, uh, set the resolution whether or not you want sound, and then display touch position. Okay, so um, you know that's a cool little feature. Um, you know, um, <laughs> you know, you can get some people caught up with that feature if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, so, yes, you do have a screen recorder on your Lenovo Z6 Pro here. And, uh, you know, I'll just say use that feature responsibly. All right. <laughs> That's all I'll say about that. All right. Now, we'll move on. And, I, you know, typically on the Z5 and the Z5 Pro, under the general settings, they had like different... Um, uh, gestures and things but I'm not really seeing that here and so maybe that's something that Lenovo decided to take away or maybe that's something that we'll see in future updates things that make me go hmm all right but again we got system updates about phone digital well-being it's good that we have digital well-being right here your digital well-being tool um, this is gonna help you keep track of you know how you use your device what you're using the most you know what I mean? Or if you're just looking to keep track on what you're using the most, if you want to kind of scale back on certain things that you're using or that you think you're using too much, or if you feel like you're just using your phone too much, you know, digital well-being can help you a lot, help you out with that. And so, um, and then you got parental controls right there. I mean, so, you know, if you're handing your kids your device, you can set up parental controls and you don't have to worry about them accessing things that you don't want them accessing. All right. Um, and then, of course, we've got Google at the very bottom. And you can see my man Pristine Tech right there. Shout out to that guy. You know what I'm saying? That guy, he's a cool cat. You know what I'm saying? He's a cool cat, man. Y'all better learn about that guy, Pristine Tech, right there, man. But uh, yeah. So that's about it for like, you know, what we got under the under the, the, the settings list. Um, scrolling on the phone, I mean, we don't have a 90 hertz display. We're at 60, but I mean, the screen is very responsive. As you can see, you know, when I swipe it slowly, the, thing, the the apps and the screen just slides slowly. If I do it fast, it does it faster. It's very nice and responsive to the touch. When you hold down on the screen, this is going to take you to your home settings, widgets, and wallpaper. When you click on home settings, we've only got notification dots, add icons to home screen, which I've got that on. And so again, when you download an app from the Play Store, it's going to automatically uh, be applied to your desktop as opposed to just being in your app drawer and then we've got allow home screen rotation and so when you turn that on if you're on your home screen and we just turn the phone then it changes the orientation so that's all that does all right when you turn it back upright then boom there you go you're back in your regular horizontal uh, um, orientation right there okay so now let's go ahead and get into this well and real quick too 
Um, we go to recents. This is what recents look like. And I'm a, I'm a fan of that animation. Like, I like that. Just how the apps are all behind one another. And just the way that looks when you're scrolling. And, of course, you know, things are right there. Um, let's see. Some of those games. Puzzle, it's, it's, it's still right there. So, you know, the RAM management on this bad boy just seems to be nice and smooth and precise as it ought to be. We'll go back to Asphalt. It's right there where we left off. We didn't have to reload anything. And all these applications that are open in the background, it doesn't seem to be slowing the device down at all in the least bit. So, you know, there's your RAM management. Okay, RAM management on this phone appears to be pretty solid. All right, now, let's get into the camera application. And I like the fact that by default, when you get into the camera app, you've got the full display. It's not set up in 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 in, in 4x3. I mean, this is 19 by 9 viewfinder. And it's the same with selfies, right? And you've got some gestures that are very reminiscent to the Motorola. And I'll show those as soon as I get out of the camera application. Um, you know, you've got some Motorola-ish and some Samsung-ish type of gestures with this device. All right, now, as you can see, we've got the full screen viewfinder right there as well. And so we've got the camera and video, okay? Now, we'll go back to the camera. And this little icon right there is what turns your camera around to the front-facing snapper. And if you don't want to hit that button right there, you can just give the phone a little twist. And you can turn it around that way. And if you want to go back to your, uh, your, your, your primary viewfinder on the rear of the device, give it another twist. And boom, now we've seen that on Samsung phones, right? Right. Okay, now, hit this little box right there. This is going to bring up your different little, uh, let's see. So we've got uh, Pro, Night Mode, Portrait. Now, another thing too is that that kind of sucks with the length of time that that goes up because you may be trying to figure out what you want to use. And it goes away really quickly. And I saw that in somebody's video that they did and they were talking about how that was an annoyance. And I can understand how that can be an annoyance. And so these are your different modes and you've got pro, night, portrait, panorama, wide, and, and macro. And so you can take macro photos with this phone, but it's like you have to choose what you want quickly because it's gonna go away. And I'm not sure if you can toggle that in the settings. We'll see about that once I get into the camera settings. Um, haven't taken any photos so this is this is our gallery right there this little icon right there now let me see what is this oh okay so that's the screen orientation okay so now it's in four by three see that little icon right there at the top now we've got full screen so let's just go to four by three real quick all right so you can get a better look at though at, at the different options again so pro night mode portrait panorama wide angle and macro all right and then again you've got your two time optical zoom right there there's your one time wow that zooms in really wide so when you hit that little graph comes up now you're in wide angle So that's interesting how you do that. I thought that you just hit the button and it takes you to your two-time optical zoom because you do have a telephoto lens here. Okay, that's a little bit different. So let me just get out of it just so I can go back to it. Okay, so when you hit, let me see. So now you're one time. Now, see, I thought that when you hit that, it would automatically take you to your two-time optical zoom, but apparently it looks as though that's something that you have to do manually. And so I'll see if we can adjust that in the settings. All right. Now, here are the settings right here. We've got picture size defaults, location, camera sound, volume key, control shutter, watermark, reference lines. Yes. 48 megapixel super picture and super quality. And super quality is picture quality is clearer. 
what? Right, color is richer, but the image processing time slightly longer. Okay, so that's what that is. All right, and so we see picture size and defaults. You see we've got full screen, 16 by nine and four by three. So we're in four by three right now. And let's see here. Okay, so here we've got an effect filter. Here we've got beauty mode. Here we've got, what is this? Wait, what? Dreamy body. Oh my goodness, yes. Yeah, so, oh, I've seen this in somebody else's video. So that's a very deceiving little feature right there. All you Instagram cats and Snapchat or just people dating online, you know what I'm saying? What this filter does is you can, you can have a pot belly. No diss to nobody, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to the pot belly crew out there, you know what I'm saying? You know, I got to keep it tight, you know, keep it tight with the eight pack, you know what I'm saying? But I mean, to the pot belly crew out there, hashtag pot belly, yo. If you want to perform some trickery, you know what I'm saying? If you got some complexes, hey, and this is no diss, but I mean, this, this feature is crazy. You can hit this feature and you can take a selfie of yourself and it's going to make your pot belly... You know what I'm saying? It's gonna look your pant. It's gonna make your panties look like a pack. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna look like a six pack. And so you can, you know, I'm, I, I mean, you know, you can, hey, you know, you can, you can piss on some people's foot and tell them it's raining with that feature, man. That ain't cool. But that's what it does. You know what I'm saying? And so I'm like, you know, that's an interesting feature to be on a camera. But it, it, it that's what it is. I okay so now this is our timer okay we got three seconds ten seconds or timer off here is our HDR mode and by default it's on well it's it's off but we'll just turn it up turn on auto and then here's our flash okay go ahead and turn that off and see the little three dots up there that's how we access those settings so i'm just going to take a quick little picture here i got my little got my fiji water right here let's see here uh, that's looking real good as i mentioned dxo mark gave this camera a 97. that's a beautiful picture right there that's a beaut that's a darn good picture right there nice and sharp color accuracy is on point now, of course, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, the lighting, I've got the white light right up here, which is providing that bright light. But even low light photos, this 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 phone takes some takes some stunning low light photos. I'm saying like giving the pixel and night sight a run for his money, you know, giving the iPhone 11 and 11 Pro and Pro Max a run for his money for what it's doing with their night cameras. Like the night, the, the night mode camera on this phone is a beast. You know what I'm saying? So you're going to be able to take some really, really good night photos with this device. Now, let's go back and take me a little selfie. You know what I'm saying? I'm fresh from the barbershop, clean cut, lined up. You know what I'm saying? Let's see if we can get a nice little, nice little shot here. Let me see here. All right. All right. Selfie mode. Shutter speed is nice and quick. There's a nice little selfie right there. All right. Color accuracy is on point. Man, just I like that the shadows and the bright and the and the, this bright light. It just looks exactly the way it looks in here. And I and I like that. I like that a lot. So that ladies and gentlemen is our camera. We'll go ahead and get out of all that. And um yeah, that's pretty much all I've got for the unboxing and the first initial thoughts and impressions on the phone that got away from me, uh, which is the Lenovo Z6 Pro. Just a quick backstory real quick. If you guys didn't know, the Lenovo Z5, it came out, I believe, in 2018. And, um, you know, it was a big fiasco because Lenovo, they were claiming that the phone uh, was going to be like this flagship device and that the phone was going to have this all-screen display and you know, this ca this crazy camera setup or whatnot. And they, and, and Lenovo themselves, like their mobile division, 
themselves were leaking this information. So it's not like it was information that were being leaked by, by people that weren't really what was going on or, or, or that didn't know what was going on or people that were on the outside looking into their establishment and just, you know, speculating things. You know, nowadays, a lot of times before these phones even come out, we know pretty much everything there is to know about them because you got so many leaks and stuff like that. Well, Lenovo themselves, the CEO of the mobile division was online him and his team leaking falsified information about what this device was supposed to have been. And then, like I said, this was back in 2015 with the Lenovo Z5. And then they had their press event and you had asses in every seat. And they did this because they knew that it was going to appeal and attract the masses. And they unveiled the device and it was a mid-range device that had none of the dimensions that were leaked. It had a big notch at the top and the camera implementation was not what they said it was going to be. Um, and there were a couple of other features and functions that it was rumored to have that it also didn't have. And so it was a disappointment in that particular regard, but for a budget or I'm sorry, for a mid range device, the phone was spectacular in the mid range category and the price was like 200 bucks or something like that. It was like something crazy, like the price was unreal. And so even though they tricked us all, the phone still sold like hot cakes. I mean, you couldn't get this phone nowhere. I mean, as soon as they put it up for pre-order, I mean, it was flying off store shelves. I mean, they was doing things like, man, they would, you know, they would get inventory and they would post them. And I'm saying like within five minutes, it was, I'm like, I was surprised that I got one. Like I was at work and I was, man, with a patient. And I was like in between patients, you know what I'm saying? Trying to order that device. And I got lucky and I got myself one. But I entitled that video, The Genius Behind the Deceit, because they deceived us to attract us, to captivate us. But then the phone still ended up being a major, major hit, right? And so that's why I entitled that video, The Genius Behind the Deceit. And then of course, the Z5 Pro was the follow-up to the Z5. I'm not sure if that one did as well as the initial Z5 did, but it did all right. You know, it had the sliding, you know, go look at the video, the Z5 Pro, you know, I entitled that the genius behind the deceit part two. Well, this is the genius behind the deceit part three. All right, because this is their third implementation of this Z line. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, go back and check out the Z5 and the C5 and the Z5 Pro video and then look at this video and you can see the maturation, you know what I'm saying, over the course of time between 2018 when the Z5 was released until now. This came out in like, like mid-2019. The Z6 Pro here, like I said, it got by, it slipped through the cracks, yo. Because I like these Z phones. I like Lenovo and Lenovo is mainly known for their partnership with Motorola and the fact that they now make Motorola devices. That's like their claim to fame in the mobile industry. We know that Lenovo was huge with like laptop computers and, and all that kind of thing. These two-in-one computers and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, making motherboards and chips and stuff like that. But, I mean, you know, that's really their claim to fame. But in this mobile aspect, you know, they bought out Motorola or they merged with Motorola. But they make their own devices. And so that was why I wanted to get my hands on these Z-Line uh, devices just to let people know that, hey, it ain't just about Motorola, yo. You know what I'm saying? You know, Lenovo, they doing some things separate from Motorola and it's pretty dope. It's pretty nice. If you expand your what your mind, you know, you may, you know, add a little diamond in the rough. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, right here, you got all your latest specifications because we've yet to have a device come out that has the new Snapdragon 865 processors here in early 2020. They're coming. They're coming soon. I know that Samsung Unpacked is going to be February 12th, but uh, right now, it is January 18th. So that's still a little ways away. So the app, the Snapdragon 855 processor, even though it's the, the, the flagship processor of 2019, is still what the business is today because we don't have any phones that are out that we can buy right now that have the new processors. All right. So, um, you know, that, uh, that, 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 uh, that spec sheet for 350 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Where my money saving crew at? You know what I'm saying? Shout out to the cash saving crew. Not me. Hashtag say that cash. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking about. So man, the Lenovo Z6 here, Z6 Pro. Like I said, the link 
will be down in the description. If you like what you see here and you want to get your hands on this device, click that link and it's going to take you right to Amazon, which is where I bought mine. And you can go ahead and purchase yours. All right. That's all I got, ladies and gentlemen, for the first initial thoughts and impressions and unboxing for the Lenovo Z6 Pro. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. Be sure to like, share and subscribe to Pristine Mobile Tech to expose yourself to tons of videos that I've done like this one. I've got a very vast catalog, a lot of different devices. Make sure you keep it locked at Pristine Mobile Tech because I've got so much more content to come. A lot of exciting things coming out here in 2020, and I'm going to have it here for you on Pristine Mobile Tech. Be sure to hit that notifications bell so that when I drop videos, you can be one of the first to get notified and you can check out the video and get down in the comments section because that's where I'm going to be chilling at. And you can ask me anything. We can chit chat about these phones. I'll be responding to questions, comments, feedback, criticisms, all that type of stuff. I'm not perfect with this thing, but I do it because I love it and I love to give you guys the most information I can about these phones to help you make an informed decision on what your next smartphone purchase is going to be. That's what I do this for. I know that I'm long winded. My videos are long. And the reason for that is because my videos are geared more towards a teaching experience because it's hard to show off all the features and functions and everything that these phones can do in five to seven minutes. Now, no knock to those people that like to make five to seven minute videos. I understand you guys' channels are more targeted to those um, whose, you know, attention spans are a little bit less. And that's and that's normal. I'm not saying that to this. You know, what I'm saying, I mean, a lot of people just don't have the time to sit there and watch a video for an hour. You know, what I'm saying. Um, and, you know, I catch a lot of flack for that, but it's like I have to differentiate what I'm doing from others you know what i'm saying and this is one of the different uh, one of the things that's different about my channel here is i'm trying to teach you and show you everything that you can possibly know about this device before you go and burn before you go and buy it you know what i mean so it's like if you decide to go cop this phone i want you to know everything there is that you need to know about it before you cop it so that you know exactly what you're getting yourself into no questions asked all right so with that said i'm i'm done so you already know, you, you know what I'm going to leave you with. Please stay safe, get spiritually fit. Thank you for rocking with me for this unboxing and this initial first initial thoughts and impressions video. I'm about to go watch this UFC. You know what I'm saying? Conor McGregor and Cowboy Cerrone. We're going to see what Conor going to do tonight after being out of the UFC for a little over a year for getting suspended. Uh, him and Khabib for that last fight. Now I'm time back. So uh, you guys already know, man, please stay safe. Get spiritually fit because we're definitely living in the last days. And I'll catch y'all in the next video. Make sure you keep it pristine. Catch y'all in the next one. Peace.